right, hey there. Uh, we're gonna be balancing permanganate, uh, an S2O3, two minus, uh, in acid. All right, so let's take a look at assigning some oxidation numbers. If you were to sum all the charges here, we have eight positive, six negative for a net charge of plus two, we've got plus two. So this here is our reduction half reaction. Now for S2O3, four times the charge of each sulfur plus six times the charge of each oxygen has to add up to negative two. Let's work this out. Now what we see here is that this is the average oxidation number for each sulfur. So S4O6, without having to draw the resonance here, we've got two different types of sulfur. We've got these two sulfur, which are each at a plus five, and then we've got these two sulfur, which mm -hmm. each have an oxidation number of zero. So what this represents is the average. Does it matter? Well, mm -hmm. let's find out. The first thing that I notice here is that the number of sulfurs don't match. So two S2O3s will become one S4O6. Now, if each sulfur in the process loses half an electron, there are four that each lose half an electron for a total of two electrons lost. So when two molecules of S2O3 break down to form one molecule, or should I say combine to form one molecule of S4O6, two electrons are lost total. Each sulfur loses half an electron. Now keep in mind that on average loses half an electron. When we look at each half reaction, we're going to multiply each by a factor that brings our electrons into equality. Let's draw this out now. Now that our electrons cancel, let's add these back together. As always, I want you to check your work. So in this case, we've got 16 positive charges. We have 22 negative charges. So the difference between 16 plus and 22 negative, we have a negative six net charge. Let's look on the other side. We've got 10 negatives, four positives. We have a negative six net charge.